Hardy is here with us right now. Who, I mean, to have your life, you're writing hits. Yeah. Do you, last time I looked, it was 10 number ones. Is that still accurate? Because I know you're about to have another one. Yeah, it's 10. Okay. Do you, could you, I'm not going to ask you to, but could you name them all quickly? Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. I am going to ask you Come to. on. Okay, okay, let's hear your 10 number one songs go. Okay, Up Down, Simple, I Don't Know About You, God's Country, One Big Country Song, Some Girls, More Than My Hometown, One Beer, Single Saturday Night, Sand in My Boots. That's wow. pretty good. Mm. Impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Man, and what he just said there is worth lots of tons <laughs> of money. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I had a Ernest over at the house. Yeah. And we were talking about you. And, and so... You, in my mind, you, Ernest, and Morgan run pretty tight. Is that? Yes. How did that relationship come about? It was pretty organic. It really all happened through Big Loud, our record label. Um, Ernest had ri written for Big Loud for forever. Morgan was a Big Loud artist. And I met them through FGL because I, before I was affiliated like professionally with Big Loud, I was out on the road with FGL for a long time writing. And so there was a lot of Big Loud people in and out. Morgan was on tour with them. Ernest would be out writing. And and uh, it, it just kind of happened organically. We just started hanging out and realized we had a lot in common and we loved writing songs. And, it, you know, it just sort of happened. You won the Songwriter of the Year for 2022. Yeah. That's pretty significant because you're also an artist. Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. Like, you're starting to blow up as an artist while you're still killing. Like, where do you have all the time to do this? I just, I try to make time, and um, I I just, I write during the week. Like, we, you know, typically, summertime's a little bit different, but we tour, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I take Sunday off and sometimes Monday, and then I try to write Tuesday and Wednesday and try to write on the road. It's just, I try to, to balance them both at the same time. Uh, it can be tough sometimes, but... Um, you know, I give it everything I got. And I mentioned that. At the same time, he's got a top 15 song that's his, Give Heaven Some Hell, which we're going to play right now. Awesome. And then we're going to come back in a second. So here is Hardy, Give Heaven Some Hell, and then my favorite song of yours that should have been a single. That I mean, I could probably just start playing it, and I think I'd be fine too, but I don't want to take away from Give Heaven Some Hell. So let me play this first, and we'll come back with Hardy in a second. I'm just rolling together. Yeah, hit it again. All I'm right. curious to know what it is. Bobby yeah. Hardy is here. He's got 10 number ones. He was a songwriter of the year in 2022. I mean, he, as an artist, he's on everything. Like, you're wildly and widely respected in this town. It's, And I see you as a guy who's, you know, I mean, you got tattoos, you got the look. Like, it's hard to see Hardy, the complete successful songwriter that people are dying to work with on a professional level, and then the artist that gets out there and just goes absolutely ham on stage. Like, that's... <laughs> That's a that's quite the juxtaposition there. Do you feel like you're two different people? Definitely. I mean, you're art, if you're an, like a lot of people have the philosophy of like your artist is like your 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 artistry is your art, you know, and that's so Hardy is is in a lot of ways different than Michael Hardy. I feel like on stage I'm a lot more animated, a lot less uh chill. Uh it's just like a outlet for me to kind of get everything out and um you know as a songwriter just a dude i feel like i'm pretty still pretty normal i guess what do your friends call you they call you michael or hardy. hardy they do everyone that's, calls that's you why hardy. i went with the artist name is oh, the, I, I have like one friend that calls me michael and then like my fiance and like my family but everybody since like high school most people have just called me hardy my favorite song of yours and i don't know if you remember i messaged you a few days ago yeah uh that he went to jared yeah and i it's such a funny song, but it's also so catchy. And that line, he went to Ole Miss, I went to work. Yeah. Like anyone that grew up like me in a rural town. Sure. Like you just hate the guy that went to Ole Miss. Like, you, I mean, it's it, like the rich. I it mean, was a privileged college for sure. And my fiance went to Ole Miss, uh, <laughs> but um, I grew up a state fan. I'm, I'm, uh, my parents, I moved here when I was 19, so I, I reluctantly didn't go to state, but, but I grew up. To not be a fan of Ole Miss, and so it was a it was a nice uh, opportunity to for a little slam for sure. So let me see if I remember the lyrics. I don't have them in front of me, but I've listened to that song so many times. He went to Ole Miss. I went to work. He's pushing paper. I'm pushing dirt. Right. Yeah. Uh, keep going. He's got. A he's clean, got a clean cut. Driving him a clean truck. I'm just sitting here drinking beer with my jeans tucked. And then he went to Jared. You went to the bar. 
Yeah, he went. To, uh, he went to Jared. I went to the bar. Yeah. That song is. I'm gonna play it in a second. But that's the song. Like of all, and you have a, your body of work, and not just the things that you sing. But that's. And when I saw you perform that, it's my favorite performance. I mean, it was so good. Awesome, man. I was appreciate that, it. Ever been any talk about that one being on? You know, one of the one of the big radio songs. Or is that, no, is that I, beyond? That was that was on that that record, uh, the collab record, the first one I did called Hicks Tape, and and uh, at one beer actually did come off of that record, and we ended up putting it on my record as well. But uh, no, it was just fun, and it, it was like potent. It did well, like online and stuff like that. But we never really talked about going to radio with it. It's just a fun fun song to play live. And how'd you get Morgan Wallen on it with you? We're just buddies, and he was he was always a fan of that song. I think at one point he even said like i think i might cut this and then before he cut again before he started going back in the studio i did so i beat him to it and, and i said well why don't we just do it together so i'm going to play it in a second uh there's another thing that you guys do where you ch- you shotgun the beer you pop boom is that legit yeah do you try to get better at it as the tour goes so like I is think it a competition I'm probably about as good as i am ever going to get at it <laughs> i've been doing it a long time do you ever ha- finish that and go oh i'm a little drunk like because used, the whole night. I used to, but I I feel like I've gotten in such a rhythm now. It's all it's always like the same every night. But there's been there's definitely been times. Do you ever not want to do it? And you're yeah. like, I know we have it in the set. <laughs> That's right. I, was and I gotta go. You ever, like you're bloated nah. and you just don't want to do it. I don't drink beer before the show because of that, and it, and like it it makes me burp, and I don't yes. want to like be in the middle of singing and just just rip one in front of everybody <laughs> so uh yeah. but no it's and, and it's it's that's my last like performance you know of the night and so it's a nice it's almost like a nightcap of like it's like a treat or a reward you know to shotgun a beer and then you're done you can go do whatever you want you come up from the bottom of this underneath the stage yeah. out of nowhere there's hardy and he's going hard and you're like wow what is happening right now and the morgan it's just a funny song great song and glad you're here Give Evans some mail. We just played it. Top 15. Uh, you also have the song with Dirks and Breland that's top five. I mean, you're everywhere. That's all. That's all you ever wanted. I think so, man. Just happy to be along for the ride, man. Will you write a song today? Yeah. I- I'll write a song. I'll s- I'll- I'm going to write a song in like 20 minutes. Do you have an idea of what the song will be about? Can you give us a rough outline of what you're going to pitch <laughs> in the room? Uh, I have a couple ideas. I- we have a- an idea that's kind of similar to uh, Great Day to Be Alive in the same vein that I, I think I might throw out today. Not saying we'll write that. We might, everybody else might hate it, but um, it's a very similar, like, I'm a I'm a good old boy and these are good things that are happening to me and they might not be important to everybody, but they're important to me kind of idea. Called A Great Night Not to Be Dead. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> That's, there you go. See? So close. Have that. Have that on me. Thanks. Okay, it's, it's for you. Uh, at Hardy on Instagram, and I'm going to play this song now, even though it's it's old. It's on Hicks Tape 1. Uh, this is He Went to Jared, which I think is such a funny song. It's such a great song, and congratulations on everything, man. Thank you. There he is. Hardy, everybody. Nice show. This is a Bobby Bones show.